Canadian-born actor Raymond Burr was born on 21 May 1917 in New Westminster, British Columbia, of German, Scottish, Irish, and English descent. Raymond was best known for being part of the long-running and successful TV series Ironside and Perry Mason, and was also part of the Alfred Hitchcock's film Rear Window. But all of his efforts helped put his net worth to where it was prior to his passing in September of 1993. So, just how rich was Raymond Burr? As of 2016, Celebrity.Money estimates a net worth that was at $15 million, mostly earned through a successful career on television. Aside from that, Burr also had various roles in film and on radio and stage, and he was part of the Perry Mason franchise from 1957 to 1993, all ensuring the position of his wealth. Raymond William Stacy Burr was educated in California to where his mother moved after her divorce and attended San Rafael Military Academy, later matriculating from Berkeley High School. He made his stage debut at 12 years of age and found consistent work acting while still in his teens. Burr had hoped to study at the Pasadena Playhouse, but since tuition was expensive, he joined a theater group in Toronto that toured around Canada. He then joined a group which would travel to several countries, including England, India, and Australia. Afterwards, he attended Long Beach Junior College and started working as a radio actor before making his way back to Pasadena Playhouse. In 1940, he moved to New York and made his Broadway debut in Crazy with the Heat. Two years later, he became part of the production of Quiet Wedding as a replacement and would go on to act in around 30 plays, including The Duke and Darkness and French Wars of Religion. These provided a solid boost to his net worth. Starting from 1946, Burr began appearing in many more films, becoming well known for his villainous roles. Some included Red Light, M, Raw Deal, and Crime of Passion. His performances drew mixed reviews, but he became an icon of the noir genre. He would then go on to make more notable films, including Rear Window, Affair in Havana, and FBI Girl. In between these, Raymond tried his hand in other roles, but he was playing significantly older roles because of his weight. Raymond had a very good voice for radio, and often played either villains or romantic leads in radio productions. He earned significant amount of income from radio, with some of his projects including Pat Novak for Hire, Suspense, Family Theater, and Dragnet. He was also part of Fort Laramie, in which he portrayed the character Lee Quince, who was the captain of cavalry during the post-Civil War period. Over time, he would develop a significant following, receiving considerable fan mail, and improving his net worth. The peak of Burr's career would come in the 1950s when he established himself as a television actor. In 1956, he auditioned for the show Perry Mason as district attorney Hamilton Berger. However, the producers thought he would be the great in the title role, and he would then go on a diet to fit the role. The series would run from 1957 to 1966, being shown in several English-speaking countries and gaining multiple nominations. After Perry Mason, Burr would become part of the drama series Ironside, portraying a police officer with a disability and earning more nominations this time around as the series ran from 1967 until 1975. Ten years later, after a string of other series, Raymond returned to reprise his role of Perry Mason in numerous television movies, with many original cast members returning to their respective roles too. And he would go on and make a total of 26 films before his health started to fail him. For his personal life, it is known that Raymond Burr married actress Isabel Ward in 1948, but they divorced in 1952. Neither of them married again. His homosexuality was an acknowledged secret. Raymond Burr died from liver cancer in September 1993.